welcome back. Starting off with moisturizer, I'm using Kate Somerville's Nourish. Then we're jumping into brows. I'm using Anastasia's Dip Brow in Chocolate with the ABH 12 brush. And I'm starting in the front, small little flicks going towards the end of the brow and just filling it out as usual. I always include my brows or I try to include my brows in the beginning of the video because I know that you guys like to see the full transition. So, to conceal, I'm going in with Tarte Shape Tape in Light Neutral, and I'm just using this flat eyeliner brush to blend the concealer out and blend it down. And then I just use my finger to just kind of blend everything out. The finger's the best blender. I wish that they had this brush still available, but they don't, so the E15 by Sigma is super similar. Going to set the brows with the Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia and just flicking those hairs upward because I like my brows to look really hairy and separated and, you know. Going in with the P89 by Sigma and Painterly to prime me eyes. Prime me eyes? And then I'm going to just blend out my finger. For eyeshadow, we're using the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions. I'm going in with the salmon color with an E35. And this is going to be our transition color for the most part. So I'm just blending this back and forth. I actually film this back in December. You can see my hair is lighter, obviously. And I was going to post it, but then I was like, this is such a Valentine's Day look. Why not just wait? And so I did. I waited. I'm um, just going back and forth, windshield wiper motions, bringing it up to the brow slightly, and just blending that out using a Samey 2.5 or 2.3. I'm taking this burgundy color and going in the outer V, just kind of poking in there, having a light hand on the brush because I'm not sure how these were gonna blend out. So starting off light is always a good idea, especially with these darker colors, but they actually blended really, really nicely. I was happy. So I'm just going to blend that towards the inner lid. And I'm just blending it back and forth. Now taking this darker shade, I'm going in with this small taper brush by Sigma. And I'm just going to start to deepen that outer V. Taking that even darker purple, because that dark burgundy wasn't enough. And I'm just going back and forth, blending again. And I love this little tapered brush because it just like fits right in that crease, in that little outer V area where I wanted to darken everything and kind of like create a little bit of a contrast there. Now using an E58, I'm taking this shimmery champagne pink color and starting on the inner corner and just kind of smoothing that out towards the inner lid, but stopping because we're gonna use a different color. But I wet the brush with the Primer Water by Smashbox because these kind of shadows just will look better when you wet them. I wonder if I should have used my finger, but they worked pretty well. I didn't have to, you know, work too hard with them. I wonder if the finger will work better though. I'm gonna have to try that next time. So I'm just going to press and slide this shadow down so it has its full potential on my eye. And just blending it out. Now for the fun part, I'm using Lemonhead LA Birthday Bitch Space Jam. And I'm using a tiny little angled brush to put this on. Now you don't need any glue or anything like that, any adhesive at all, this just sticks on and this is why I love this product so freaking much because it's just insanely easy to apply and neat, honestly. It's the neatest glitter that I've ever used in my life and I can't wait to get more dye mats, okay? Now for mascara, I'm using Marc Jacobs uh, The Velvet Noir and I'm just going to coat those lashes, bring them up to the skies. This is probably one of my favorite mascaras. Um, I just got the new Bad Gal Lash in the mail by Benefit. I'm going to try that out probably tomorrow. For lashes, I'm using Gigi Bell Lashes in Lexi. These are the most spidery, beautiful, fluffy lashes in the world. And if you love drama, these are for you and your mama. All right, <laughs> using Huda Beauty Lash Glue. I'm just gonna cut these slightly. And you guys can use code SUBBY in all caps at checkout at ggbelashes.com and save 20% off. Yep, just for you guys because you guys are awesome. Mm -hmm. Starting with the face, I'm using the Smashbox Primerizer, which I love because especially in these cold ass winter months, I need to have as much moisture as possible. So 
Mm -hmm. Using the Naturally Radiant NARS foundation with an F83. Love this freaking brush. And just look at how crazy the coverage is. I know I look a little yellow in the beginning, but just, it just, come on. Just look at it and try to go up really, really close so you can see. And I know I have good skin, but this coverage is insane. So I'm going to finish the other half of my face. I'm just blend this out. This is one of my favorite Sigma brushes, by the way. Wiping off the gook on my lips, because I hate when foundation is on my lips. And I'm going in with medium Tarte Shape Tape. I'm just going to conceal. Actually, this might be light neutral, I'm not positive. Might be light neutral. Going in with the Cover FX Contour Kit. This is light to medium. I wish I had the darker color. I actually have to get that, I feel like. I've been meaning to get that, but I'm using the 3D HD Precision Brush by Sigma and slightly contouring. You can see it's a very natural contour because it's just a little bit light on me, but I love the formula so much and it looks really natural with these shades, but I do want to get the darker palette. I have to do that. But you see? You could see. You could see. Mm -hmm. You could see. And I'm just going to blend that out and then going towards the nose, going to contour that slightly. And then I'm using the Japanesque sponge and blending everything out. Starting with my concealer because I don't like when that sets too long. And my lips are moving because I was doing a live glam takeover, so that is why. I'm just gonna blend up the nose. And then I always like to cut the under contour area. Going in with shade one with a concealer brush from Makeup Addiction and just going to highlight tops of my cheekbones and my nose. I love this kit for contouring my nose. It's That's like the most perfect light highlight color for my skin tone so that's why I'm kind of you know still using this one because this color is just so good and I have to get the dark one anyway but I'm just gonna go over my nose contour again and then I'm going to set with the Locket Translucent Powder by Kat Von D with the Japanese sponge. I actually bought the RCMA powder like a long time ago and I still haven't touched it. I don't know why. I just am too obsessed with the Kat Von D one. Going in with the KKW Medium Contour Kit. I'm using that little brush that I actually really adore. And I'm just going to bronze the outer parts of my face and my cheekbones. And my nose as well, just very slightly. And my jawline and just blend that all out. Going to wipe away with an F37 all of that excess powder and just kind of blend everything out. And then I'm using the Big Blush Book by Tarte. Love this freaking thing, it's so cute. And I'm using an F10 and Peachy. What a pretty, pretty, pretty blush. And for highlight, I'm using these two. I think it's a opal and ooh, ice, I think. And I'm using an M501 brush. This is the Becca Apreski highlighting palette. I believe that's how you say it. I might be wrong, I don't know. But I'm just gonna highlight the hell out of my face. And I'm going to use that ice color in the inner corner and on the brow bone as well because that went with the glitter really nicely. And you know, I like my highlights to really match everywhere. I'm gonna use these two shades with an E30 and just go underneath the lash line and just smoke that out so everything's nice and matched. And after I smoke that out, I'm going to use Famous Liquid Matte Lipstick by Huda Beauty. And I'm going in to the bottom lip first and then just kind of rubbing as I go because I try to be as neat as possible with the reds. It's really, really difficult, especially with a liquid matte because it ain't going anywhere. I actually had to fix this a bunch of times before I actually got it perfect. You know, I sit there for like 20 minutes just like going over the top lip especially because that's, I feel like, the hardest part. Setting with Tatcha Sui Mist Spray all over the face. And that's it you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys have a very happy Valentine's Day. And if you're really not into Valentine's Day like me, I hope you guys just have a great day. So let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments below, even though I do have another tutorial ready for you guys soon. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see, subscribe if you haven't already, and thumbs this video up if you've enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye.